Mexico, a perfect destination for spring break. So you and your family decide to go to Mexico. It's a no brainer, right? You just got to the rental car agency to pick up your Chevy Vega. Later that day, you just left the sunny beaches of Cancun to travel to the nightlife of Cabo San Lucas. You're driving on the road, pitch black at night, and you don't see a speed limit sign or the ever so important one way sign. You're driving. You're driving and crash! You hit another car. Glass flies everywhere. As an American driver, you expected the airbags or the ABS or the rear cross traffic alerts to go off, but they don't. This reality is what people in Mexico face every single day. In fact, according to the World Health Organization, 90% of crash fatalities occur in low and middle income countries. Automakers need to realize this and focus their efforts more to prevent this from happening continuously. So today, we're going to drive through the differences in safety features of vehicles, turn the corner on why car companies aren't making improvements that can save lives, and greenlight the features of organizations around the world to help promote safety. Now, the last time you saw a car on the road, you probably never realized that different cars are made for different countries. Many companies, including Chrysler, General Motors, and Ford, originated right here in Michigan and are trusted with people from around the world. Unfortunately, the cars that these companies make for other countries aren't as safe. According to a 2017 Bloomberg article from the Detroit Free Press, U.S. and European companies routinely sell cars without many of the basic safety protections that are standard here at home. Often they are sold without airbags or electronic stability systems and cannot protect passengers in crashes above 35 miles per hour. This alone is enough to make anyone not want to drive. For example, one of GM's popular sedan models sold here in the U.S. is the 2018 Chevy Cruze. The Chevy Cruze comes standard with a backup camera for those hard to see objects and 10 airbags that protect from front impact, side impact, overhead, and knee. All of this high tech safety starts at a little under $17,000. To compare, for virtually the same price, the Mexican version of the Chevy Cruze has less airbags. In fact, it only has four airbags and six in the Premier option. The only standard safety features that the car comes with include airbags, ABS, stability trick, and cruise control, which are necessities in American cars. Additionally, the US version also has 12 available safety features, including low speed forward automatic braking, where the car applies the brakes if it knows there's a front collision approaching, lane keep assist with lane departure warning, which will gently steer the car back into its lane, and a rear cross traffic alert. And worse yet for a Mexican car is the Nissan Suru. The Nissan Suru doesn't come with any of the available safety features in the Mexican version of the Chevy Cruze. No airbags, no ABS, no stability track, and no cruise control. This car is also rated the least safest vehicle on the Mexican market. No wonder some articles say that Mexico is a full 20 years behind when it comes to vehicle safety. Now, why aren't countries making improvements that could save lives? Many companies know the amount of airbags between the US market and the Mexican market is very different. In fact, many companies don't add more airbags because of the cost and difficulty to install. To elaborate, from 1987 to 2015, frontal airbags saved 44,869 lives, which is enough to fill a major league baseball park, according to the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration. If companies spent as little as $200 more, lives could be saved. Additionally, airbags are hard to install because you need to arrange them around the instrument panel so that you can still have the panel. This steers many automakers away from adding more airbags especially if they aren't being compensated with significant profit margins. And since the law isn't forcing them to do it, then why should they? According to the World Health Organization's 2015 report on road safety regulations around the world, road traffic injuries are the leading cause of preventable death. 
A lot of this has to do with the developing laws in countries. Some countries, including Mexico and India, don't have laws regarding speed limits, drinking and driving, and seatbelt use. Based on this, many countries that only have one or two laws won't respect the laws that are put into place, especially if they aren't enforced. The most positive changes to road user behavior happen when the public is made aware of the reasons behind the new law and the consequences of non-compliance and the law is supported by strong and sustained road safety legislation. This is triggered by the underlying consequence of car companies not installing many basic safety features. Now let's greenlight what you can do at home to help people get the safety that they deserve. Many people believe that the U.S. government should help the Mexican government. This includes communicating with them to inspect monitoring systems and control anything that could hurt drivers and pedestrians. There are also many groups around the world that are rallying for safer cars around the world, one group being the World Health Organization. This group advocates for car safety and they support issues including diseases, healthy aging, and eating healthy. Another group that advocates for car safety is the UN General Assembly Resolutions Group. This group focuses on talking about security, climate change, and sustainable development. If you'd like to find out about either of these two groups, the World Health Organization or the UN General Assembly Resolution Group, you can follow them on Twitter at WHO, spelled W-H-O, and UN to support the fight not only for car safety, but for the well-being of everyone around the world. So today, we sped by the differences and safety features of vehicles by looking at the Chevy Cruze in the Mexican market and the U.S. market, break down why car companies aren't making improvements that could save lives because of cost, placement, and laws, and greenlighted the features of organizations around the world, including the World Health Organization and the UN General Assembly Resolution Group, to help keep people safe. Now, luckily, your family survived that horrible crash but many people don't. So the next time you're riding in a car, maybe on the way home from this forensics tournament, you realize how fortunate you are to be safe.